Hey guys, it's Axel here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I know, I haven't really made a talking video in a while, let alone a pre-recorded video at all. Um, the last few videos that I've made this month and last month are pretty much live streams. And um, th there's a few reasons why I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, and I haven't uploaded consistently. And I know, y'all want me to upload more, I can tell. Every time I upload, like, once a week or less than once a week, y'all keep unsubbing. I, I notice. I notice. I hear you. I see you. You want me to upload more. I get it. I'll, I'll try to upload more as best I can. But, <laughs> um, it, it, it hurts. I, I see what you're doing. It hurts, but I get it. I see you. I understand. I'll improve. And, um, there's a few reasons why I haven't uploaded. Um, one of which is because I worked really hard on big projects in October. I worked on that hour and a half long Dead Rising video that was pre-recorded. Did a lot of edits for that. That took days to make. Um, I finally made my first Glitchy Paradise episode, which if you didn't see that, I highly suggest you go see that. Link is in the description. Um, it's going to be like 35 minutes. Um, I know you know, not everyone has that kind of time, but you can always like watch it in different segments. Um, but my first Glitchy Paradise is out. Biggest project I've ever made. Something I'm really proud of. Link is in the description. That took weeks to make. It took almost all month of October to make. Which sucked. Um, because that took a lot of my time. And I couldn't play games. I couldn't, like, chat with anybody. I couldn't do nothing. I was so focused on making Glitchy Paradise. And that Dead Rising video, too. But it didn't take nearly as long as the Glitchy Paradise. Um, but uh, both those videos were out in October. And they took a long time. They took a lot of the energy out of me. Um, although I'm really proud of their video, of those videos, and I'm really glad I made them. Uh, at the same time, they made me want to take a little bit of a break from editing. Um, so I, I toned myself down a little bit. I uh, didn't upload nearly as much. I, I kind of like um, wanted to take a little break, enjoy the holidays, because you know after this entire year, I uploaded a lot of videos. Um, I think at the beginning of the year, did, I, I, did, was it this year or last year that I did that um, 100 day challenge where I uploaded daily for 100 days? I don't know if I did that this year or last year, but um, this year I uploaded a lot of videos. And at, the, at after I uploaded those huge ones, I wanted to take like a little break off to enjoy the holidays. I still wanted to upload and give you all a heads up and, you know, chat with you all. So that's why I was doing the Minecraft live streams because um, I always say that I don't want to be a Minecraft YouTuber. I just want to be somebody who plays Minecraft. But uh, Minecraft is the best way to stay connected to you all because um, like almost everybody plays Minecraft <laughs> and over almost everybody wants to stick around to watch somebody play Minecraft. Uh, and plus it helps me get the most new viewers. So that's that's kind of what I've been streaming recently. Um, I have a lot of other games that I should be streaming, it should be finishing, it should be beating, but I've been I've been taking a little break for the holidays, um, and uh, those streams, they're still pretty long, um, but the, the, I've been only been streaming weekly, um, and clearly, as I said earlier, y'all don't like me st uh, streaming or making videos on a weekly basis, uh, so I'll try to upload more as best I can, um, but... It's going to be really hard, and that comes into my second problem. Um, my first problem was pretty much just me taking a break, uh, lack of motivation. Um, I've been, not only have I been using streams to uh, still stay connected to you all while taking um, a break and enjoying the holidays, but I've also um, tried, been trying to use my streams to keep my motivation back up for YouTube, and that's because... Uh, if you, if you don't follow my Twitter, that's fine, but on my Twitter, I kind of talked about uh, th this in, de in like vagueness, but I, now I can talk about it in detail. Basically, um, for my PlayStation 4, I have an external hard drive that has all the games on it. It's like a one terabyte external hard drive with like every single game on it that I have on the PlayStation on there. It's like, it has like 40 some games. And... Um, it started acting up. It started not being read. It kept having problems. I kept having to repair it. So I'm like, okay, let me put it on my computer to do a reformat. 
Um, if some of you may not know, a reformat is basically you wiping the hard drive clean of everything to restart anew so that if there's something that's corrupt or something that's messing up, uh, the deep reformat will clean everything off and fix it. Uh, hopefully. And, um... So basically, in my attempt to reformat my hard drive um, on my PlayStation 4, I, I put it into my computer, and I was a I hit the reformat button, but I accidentally reformatted the wrong hard drive. I reformatted another hard drive that I had that had a bunch of footage for YouTube videos. Um, it had like seven, 600 videos worth of YouTube videos. Now, a lot of them are the YouTube videos that I've already uploaded. A lot of them are already edited. But there was a lot of footage that wasn't, like at least 200, 300, maybe more, that um, was made but wasn't uploaded. Uh, a lot of which being like GTA content or Let's Plays or uh, glitch videos or, well, just glitch clips. I had a lot of it. And that was um, 500 gigabytes worth of 720p footage of videos. And um, I accidentally reformatted that one. Because both the hard drives were plugged in at the same time, and both of them um, kind of were being used in like the same amount of gigabytes. Like they both used like like um, 600, 700 gigabytes out of the one terabyte that they both had. Um, so they both were kind of used up in like simi very similar numbers. So I mistakenly thought that the one that I reformatted was the PlayStation 4 one, but it was not. It was um, the one that I really didn't want to be reformatted. Um, so when I I lost all of the videos, well, temporarily lost all of the videos. I I lost every single one, um, and it, it it was a major blow. Like losing five hundred gigabytes, maybe even more gigabytes. I think it was five hundred, um, but losing all of that in just a simple misclick is j the most heartbreaking thing. the The external hard drive for the PlayStation Four works now. At least I hope it does. It's it's been working fine for the pa for the past couple days. So the uh, external hard for external hard drive. For the PlayStation 4 works now. <laughs> so good on that. At least that's a positive. But um, uh, it it really took a massive blow um, seeing all of the footage and all the videos that I had. Because um, those were like years worth of footage. Um, all of it was just deleted in like a single like misclick. And it, it, it really like it really upset me and made me like it really made me like lose a lot of motivation for uploading pre-recorded videos mainly because not only a I didn't have that many videos pre-recorded videos left to upload besides like glitchy paradise stuff which thank god for that um there's a lot of glitch clips that I had but all of the glitch clips that I had enough to make like separate glitchy paradises for like all the glitch clips that I had that got deleted were pretty much for like extra videos because, like, they were all from a variety of different games. Um, for a Glitchy Paradise videos that are just a singular game, I still have footage for all of those. Those are fine, because <laughs> I was smart enough to not take them, like, off of where they originally were. Like, some of them is on my computer itself. Some of them are still on the PlayStation 4 where I recorded them. So, thank God I, uh... <laughs> didn't move all the footage onto my external hard drive because if I did everything would be gone but um I still have those footage but uh a lot of other videos I don't have and that sucks it, it really made me lose a lot of motivation because uh from the reasons I said before and also because you know I've made a lot of mistakes in my life Especially this year, um, I think in the past few months, I've probably made like five, six major mistakes that like really just made me so mad at myself for. Um, like uh, <laughs> um, Little Hope, um, the dark picture is Little Hope. It was the sequel to well, another 
version, well, I don't know how to call it, it was the second adaptation of the Dark Pictures Anthology from uh, Man of Madan, which I did a Let's Play off that, and it was the same creators of Until Dawn, um, which seems to be like one of the most popular videos on my channel for some reason, Detroit Become Human and Until Dawn, um, and glitches, but uh, uh, I got li um, Little Hope. I pre-ordered Little Hope the day before it came out. Like, um, it came out on October 30th, and I pre-ordered it on October 29th. So I went there on October 30th, hoping my game was there. I walked 40 minutes, and I tweeted about it. I walked about 20 to 40 minutes to a GameStop to get the game, only for them to not have my pre-order copy. Which I was furious about. And, um, the reason I walked to the GameStop is because I didn't have a ride at the time. I could have been patient and waited to get the ride, because, um, by the time I got the ride, it, I wouldn't have been able to get to GameStop until the next day anyways. But, um, I, I didn't want to wait. I wanted to get the game. I was determined. And when I'm determined to get, some, to get something or do something, I make sure I do it. Um, <laughs> you, you get, like, I, lo I lost, like, sleep doing the glitchy paradise, because I really wanted it done. But, um, anyways, I walked to GameStop, and they didn't have my pre order copy, which I was upset about. I asked them, like, when they'd get it, and they said, oh, I don't know, probably next week. I asked them if they'd get it by, uh, the next day, like, on October 31st, and they said no. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's upsetting. Um, because I pre ordered something, and I won't be able to get it till a week later. So, I was bummed out. I walked 20-40 minutes for nothing. I was completely furious because that was a huge waste of my time. Um, because at that time, I was still working on Glitchy Paradise, so I pretty much wasted like an hour of my time that I could have been working on doing something that I was passionate about. But, uh, I got home and, you know, being mopey all day, and then the next day, I went to the st I went to GameStop, you know, just in case they did get it on on tomorrow on the next day, Halloween day, and I checked and they did have my game. They did have my pre-order copy. He specifically said next week, and he did not say tomorrow, but I went tomorrow and they had it. Um, and not only did I gave them a phone number and they got the phone number wrong. Even though I said it like five, six, I understand it's hard to hear f with like a mask and the fact that I talk quiet, but they still got the number wrong. Um, so I had to go there myself to check, and they had the game, and I'm like, oh man, if I just waited a day, <laughs> so like I started beating myself up so much because um, I was like so determined to do something, and it backfired because I wasn't patient, and uh, that happened multiple times, and. The thing is, with that hard drive, that was the same deal. Um, I could have just waited for somebody to help me out with the hard drive, but I'm like, no, I want to be independent. I want to do it myself. I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm old enough to do it myself. Um, so I wanted to do it myself, and I ended up messing it up, and I ended up losing s so much stuff that I didn't want to lose. Um, and now, granted, I didn't lose it forever. And that's... Uh, I kind of feel bad about this, but on Twitter, I kind of asked, hey, if anybody can help me out, because, like, um, I'm using a application called Disk Drill, which um, recovers anything that you lost, like on a hard drive or something, whether you reformatted it or deleted something, um, Disk Drill will be able to get it back. Now, granted, it's not, it, it is very risky. It's not a 100% guarantee. There could be a chance that things could be corrupted. But it's better to risk getting my v videos back than to just accept that they're gone. So, um, I tried to do the disk drill and I can preview all the stuff. They know, they saw all the stuff that I lost. However, to get it all back, it's going to cost a lot of money about 90 to 100 dollars and on twitter i kind of said hey if anyone wants to support me if anyone wants to donate to help me out to help support me um 
to get my footage back to so that I can keep doing what I'm passionate about because money's really hard right now. Um, I've talked about it on a previous video, uh, talking about my struggles with uh, money and getting a job and stuff like that. That video is deleted um, for per personal reasons, but um, I, I, I really struggle with money and I not only do I not have that much money on me right now but also my bank account is acting up and I, I need to fix it uh but uh it, it it's it was it's really hard to do that and I don't know how long the external hard drive stores the backup stuff because like at this point all the stuff is deleted but it's all in like codes so te I th theoretically I could get it all back um, a lot of it is videos, so a part of me is thinking that some of the videos might be corrupted, and hopefully, hopefully, it's the videos that I've already uploaded. Um, but uh, it's going to cost about ninety to one hundred dollars, and that really sucks because I feel bad asking people for money. I always have the donation link down in my streams, but I never like so uh, every once in a while I always like call it out being like, "Hey, you can donate, you can do this, you can do that." And sometimes I even add little fun things that you all can interact like if you donate a certain amount, I do certain things in the stream. Um I've done that a couple times mainly cuz I want to interact with you all and uh, because, but I've never like straight up asked for money. And at this point, uh, 500 gigabytes worth of footage and it's 720p footage so like it's not it's only it's hd but not like full hd so it's a crap ton of videos like i said about 800 or 500 one of the two um i'll have to check again but i know it was like in the hundreds and losing all that was like awful so a donation link is down below um if you want to help out um I know a lot of people are struggling with money, so if you can't help out, that's fine. Um, just try to... You can get as many people to help out as you can. Um, friends, family, people you don't know, just people you know will help. Um, have them donate as much as they think... Th as much as they can. Um... I don't I don't want to like put pressure on you all to be like hey donate me money cuz I know money is hard right now especially during the virus and um but um I the money would really help and uh, I know um I feel really uh, bad um because like I should be independent and be able to pay my own stuff but with money being so hard and personal circumstances being harder making it harder I'll I need help in some way shape or form to kickstart things like I've always said that I want YouTube to be a passion of mine something that I want to do um, I, I've i been kind of looking into freelance work to edit for people um, but I, I, I'm, I'm so nervous about that because I don't want to like mess it up for them because my uh, editing style can be between like super high quality edits to like very lazy edits um, so I don't I don't want to like put so much pressure on myself only to like not work as hard as they want me to um but i've been looking into freelance work to try to pay it myself but it hasn't really been working out because i haven't found like something that i'm like really good at besides like uh editing and stuff of like that um i'm still trying to look but any donation would really help but um yeah it's kind of one of the main reasons why I haven't been uploading in a while because I had a lot of videos planned and now all those videos are like temporarily gone right now. Um, and <laughs> like I said, the disc drill is pretty risky, so chances are I can lose some of the stuff as well. Um, but chances are I can still get it all back. Um, so any donation helps. I have the minimum donation to a dollar, so even if you just donate a dollar, that'll be enough to help me. Um, And it it sucks. I haven't I haven't really talked in full detail about like what really happened to my hard drive. I kind of talked about it on Twitter a little bit, um, but you know uh, it it really affected me mentally because, um, like I uh, like I said, uh, I've messed up so many times this year, and that was like the biggest blow. 
it was like it was like a slap in the face being like dude you're just a mess up you're just reckless and um it really affected me a lot um I, i'm fine now i'm 100 percent fine now but when it when it happened it i i it really took a toll i i like it ruined my sleep schedule because i was just sleeping through multiple days because i was just like too upset over what i did um because 500 gigabytes for some people those are just videos um those are just because the memory is some memories are still there um for some people losing videos isn't the end of the world for like if people have lost way worse but i don't want to downgrade what i'm going through because people are going through way worse um what i went through is still pretty bad um mainly because like this is my passion this is something i really want to do this is something i love doing um and having all those videos having them all ready i was prepared so much for 2021 because although 2020 um parts of the year i did really good and some parts of the year i did pretty lazy but 2021 i had like a bunch planned and half of my half if not 80 percent of my plans are now squat squandished um is that a word i don't know if it's a word but um it's all ruined because of a little mistake and <clears throat> uh, i didn't really want to upload I, I like felt no motivation to upload at all for days and days and weeks and weeks and then i'm like you know what i i i shouldn't let it get me down because eventually i'll be able to get my stuff back i don't know if if the external hard drive ends up removing the, all that stuff permanently like eventually then then i'm going to be like extremely upset but as of right now they're all still in codes in the external hard drive and i can still get them back um but uh i i kind of realized that i shouldn't constantly just let every minor setback make me not want to do anything because youtube is still my passion like i said um, even if I lost a bunch of footage, I I can still make YouTube videos. Like, the external hard drive for the PlayStation 4 was still acting up, so I couldn't play any games. But when I could play games, I could have made little videos. I could have made little memes. It's It took me, like, weeks to make this video of me just talking about why I haven't uploaded. Um, mainly because, A, I couldn't think of the right words to say, and B, I just was not motivated enough to because like right now it's 22 minutes into the video which if if you're watching right now um hi how are you and um if you're subscribed and you like the video as well as you're watching up to this point you're absolutely amazing thank you so much for that um but i i keep making these talking videos and every single talking video ends up being so long <laughs> Um, I'm, this isn't intentional, like, I didn't mean to make this, like, 20-something minutes, but, like, after months of no months, well, it's been, like, a couple months since I last made, like, a pre-recorded video, so I have quite a bit to talk about, but, um, it's still my, pa uh, YouTube is still my passion, and, um, I lost a lot of motivation for it, but I, I still, I was still, like, you know what, I still have to make videos for you all, because you all are counting on me, and, um, like I mentioned in the beginning, people unsub and people don't watch my videos when I don't upload. Um, so it makes me really feel motivated to be like, okay, people want content, people want entertainment. If you don't give them that and you be lazy about it, people will leave. Um, and, that, and that kind of like kickstarted me to be like, you know what? Yeah, I gotta work. I gotta work on this. I gotta make videos. Um, uh, so I, I I made a couple streams to try to like bring up my motivation and like interact with you all and gain more subscribers and since the minecraft update came out that was like perfect timing but um yeah it's it um that th those were all the reasons why i haven't really made up uh, videos in a while as well as some other minor nitpicks that isn't really worth mentioning but yeah, I don't really have much to say. Um, th this video isn't really scripted. It's all me talking from the heart. Um, so if I uh, kind of interrupted myself mid-sentence or uh, 
trailed off way too much. I apologize. That's usually what I do. <laughs> I I, uh, I kind of wanted to talk with you all for quite a bit about stuff that's really happened. And um, I don't really want to make this a super long video. It's already like 20-something minutes. Um, uh, like a mini podcast. But uh, it, it's it's a long update video. Um, so I guess, I guess it's understandable. And, uh, I'll post some sort of footage up. Um, the 500, 600 gigabytes worth of footage that I lost, a lot of which were footage that I use, like, in the background of these talking videos. So I'm gonna have to, like, play a game and record some footage just as a background for this video. So, um, as of recording right now, I don't know what game is shown showing up right now. Um, but, um, I hope you like the gameplay i guess uh uh yeah um all the all of that stuff affected me um but i'm back now i'm trying my best to make as video many videos as i can um and i hope you all are ready for new videos uh i'm gonna work on more glitchy paradises um and I'm gonna I'm gonna work on a lot of stuff. There was a couple series that I want to do. I still haven't finished a couple series, um, so I'm gonna do a lot of that. The end of this year into next year, 2021 is gonna be a big leap for my channel, hopefully. Um, and I will make a New Year's video <laughs> talking about what I wish 2021 will be for me and my channel. Um, I kind of did that last year and the year before. Um, so, I kind of keep it with tradition. Yeah, I, I apologize deeply for not uploading nearly as much. Um, a part of me felt like I should have done quantity over quality. Um, but a part, uh, another part of me felt like I was doing too lazy a video, so I did quality over quantity. And that didn't work out either. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to upload more, as best I can. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. If you sneeze in the video, bless you. If you had a bad day, hope to cheer you up in some way. Uh, see you, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. And if you watch through the entire video, comment, um, I don't know, lollipop. <laughs> um, just to prove that you watched the entire video. I, I can tell when y'all skip to the end. So don't, don't just skip to the end and then say lollipop. Watch the entire video. I can tell. There's an audience retention thing in the analytics that says how many people watch the watch through the video. I can tell. So just, you know, watch the whole thing. I appreciate it. Thank you. It, I, it, it's a long video, but, you know, split it up into sections if you need to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you, everybody.